Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. And I'm here on Amp Month the Seas. I'm on a cruise to the Caribbean. And today there is an offering in the cruise compass for a wine tasting, and it is a women of wine. So it is wine that is made by all women winemakers. So that is like super exciting and, and really interesting to me. So I figured I would go and check it out. There is an additional fee to do this event. So it's $35 per person. They do give a, a discount if you have the drink package, but let's go ahead down and, and check it out. So the first wine that we were offered was the Chandon which was a sparkling white wine. It's made in the Champagne style, but because it doesn't actually come from that region of France, it's technically not a Champagne. One of the very interesting things I learned from this is this taste of apples, green apples to be specific. And oftentimes white wines have a green apple aftertaste or a note to it. And I had never noticed it before but now I can't unnotice it. It's like one of those things, once you see it, it can't be unseen. They also told us that the amount of pressure that's contained inside of a champagne bottle is the equivalent of eight truck tires. That's a lot of pressure. The next wine that they had us taste was a Sauvignon Blanc. And what they had us do, they had us smell that wine and then the next wine that we were gonna be tasting. And the difference in the aroma was dramatic. One of the other participants said that it had a much more perfume-like aroma. And she was totally right. There was a, a vast difference in the, the way that they smelled from each other. And it was definitely a sweeter wine. They also taught us about how to look for the color and uh, that younger wines have a different color than older wines and that the wine should be very clear. They told us to hold it not up to a light but against something that has a white background and that helps to let you know if the wine is clear, it lets you see through it better. I also learned that white wine will gain color as it ages, whereas red wine will start to lose color as it ages. Good to know. We also learned that white wine does not need to age as long as red wine. They said that optimal aging for white wine is about two or three years. Next, they told us to swirl the wine and then give it a sniff because what they said is that if there's any kind of flaws to the wine, you're gonna catch it on the nose before you even taste it. The next wine that we try is a Riesling. This is a French wine and where it grows, the soil has a very high mineral content that has a very dramatic impact on the flavor and smell of the wine. So what we were told about this wine is the first impression that we would get on the nose is petrol. That's right. Petrol, gas, gasoline, and it blew my mind because it, it smelled familiar before and I couldn't place it, but it didn't smell bad. And then after he said that, my gosh, it smells like gas. And first they had us try it just as is. Then he said, wait, eat a grape. Now, after you eat this grape, taste it. And it changed the flavor of the wine. So by eating the grape, it made the wine taste a little bit more bitter. And what they said is it's usually better to eat something salty as opposed to something sweet, because when you eat something salty, it will bring out the sweet flavors in the wine, as opposed to eating something sweet that tends to bring the bitters back out. Then we tried a Chardonnay. Now, I wasn't thrilled with this one. This one had a strong scent of oak and the taste went along with it. Now, that surprised me because I usually don't mind oak, but there was something in the heaviness of this Chardonnay. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't my favorite. Next, they had us try a Chianti. So this one was an Italian wine, 
and they told us that it would taste like red notes like cherries and plums and it was delicious spoiler alert this was my favorite wine of the tasting then we were instructed to take a bite of parmesan cheese just before we take a sip of the chianti eating that parmesan took this to the next level it was just so rich and delicious i look forward to the next time that i could eat some parmesan and have chianti because that hit the spot the next one that we tried was a blend and they told us to think of red berries and blueberries this one was good but it wasn't a standout wine to me but it was tasty And last but not least, they had us try a Cabernet Sauvignon. And what they had us pair it with was provolone cheese. That was so great. I actually learned a lot during that uh, wine tasting seminar. So like things like the, like I already knew that champagne could only be champagne if it was from a certain region of France and all other sparkling white wines are just that sparkling white, white wines. But what I didn't know is to think of the green apple flavor. And now that I've tasted that, I can't untaste it like green apple and champagne it's there it's it, next time you have a glass of champagne or sparkling white wine think about green apple it's there similarly with white wines like a pinot grigio think of grapefruit because grapefruit is very predominant flavor and note in a lot of the white wines i didn't know that and there was one white wine that smelled like gasoline gasoline and it actually tasted good. Like how, how does that work? That's amazing to me. So I definitely learned a lot going to this. I also tried a lot of wines that I wouldn't have necessarily tried before and found wines that I actually really enjoyed. My favorite wine of the night was the Chianti. Definitely, definitely was my favorite, especially after taking that bite of Parmesan cheese. Chef's kiss, beautiful. It was delicious. Um, least favorite was the, I think it was a Chardonnay. It had like the oak kind of flavor and oak finish. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't, like I wouldn't go running for it. I wouldn't necessarily order that. But overall, all of the wines that we tasted were really, really tasty. The red wines were beautiful. I, I really, I highly recommend doing this. It was $35 in all fairness. So I had a $25 onboard credit. So I really out of pocket only paid about mm, like $10 for this. Talk about value for your money. And even paying $35, they were pouring like near full glasses. They were giving us very generous pours. So definitely value for the dollar in going to this. Definitely recommend it. I had a lot of fun. I, I got to talking to some of the other ladies that were attending and we had a great time. Got to enjoy our little uh, grape and cheese plates. And it was just, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. So with that, I am off for the day and I will see you all tomorrow. And until then, Stay inspired by everyone. Take care.